Today I am spilling all of my secrets. I am giving you my main builds for all classes in Shinobi Striker. You may have seen a lot of these meta builds out there, but that's not what this video is, because chances are, if you're looking for meta builds, you're gonna end up looking like this guy, running the meta and still getting owned by my superior taste in Jutsu. <laughs> it's been over five years since this game came out, and during this time I've been slowly perfecting a build for each class. And now that season seven has begun, I want to look back and see how much has really changed during the year 2023. So let's start with the attack types. One of the new jutsu from Obito actually made it to my build. I thought it would be the beam, but turns out Cross Lantern actually works perfectly with Reverse Scale, and I just love landing this combo. It goes like this. Reverse Scale disabling their substitutions, Cross Lantern actually combos from this, and you can follow up with melee attacks and finish with Reverse Scale follow-up. Look at that damage! For my weapon, I got lucky with the gacha pulls for this samurai sword. Don't worry though, that's where my luck ended. This is what happened when I tried to pull for the range type pistol. Pistols. Yeah. So for this build, you're going to need four different DLC. Not every build is going to be as expensive as this, though. Some classes just got better DLC than others, and attack types sure have been blessed. We're up against the full stack, and we have no healers. I do love myself a challenge. This might be too much, though. All right, moving towards the first scroll spawn. I wish they had uh, changed the scroll spawns, just like the new maps, just to be random, you know? Get the scroll. Boom. Get away. Yes. Focus down that healer. Where is he? Oh, I see him. Shoulder charge. Lantern! Zwong! Yes, yes, stay on him, stay on him! Do not let go! Don't give him time to heal, baby! One down, and the rest shall follow! Woohoo! Shoulder! Oh, too far? Yeah, whoa. <laughs> definitely too far. Misjudged his distance on that one, and he's gone. Well, now he's definitely too far. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Truth Seeker is gonna try to guarantee that. Ah! Uh, he might get it. No, oh, no, we got it too! Yes, let's go! Oh, oh, oh! Whoop, pa pa! Where are you? I'm locked on and the camera doesn't want me to see him. Please. Uh-huh. I gotcha. I gotcha. Oh, attacks, please. No. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. He's using the Kaguya stuff. I know it doesn't look like it, but he's definitely using the Kaguya stuff. Boom. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I still get this jutsu. Boom. Oh, oh, oh. Wah. Healer down again, baby. Let's keep steamrolling. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Where are you going? Where are you going? Are you just going to lag your way out of here? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tell that was the laggiest kill I've ever gotten. Now let's jump on UG. Cross lantern. Mistimed, but the shoulder charge is good. And the slice is good too. Restand him. Oh, close, close, close. That's bad. They got Izanami or, or the other one. I, I mix the names sometimes. It's big damage. Oh, down goes the healer. We got to heal up. Yes, Baryan mode is here, baby. Whoa, get the guy. Big Mally cobbles into the victory! Flawless, dude! And we got the top kills alongside this range type. Insane! Part of what makes these the best builds for me is that they're not only strong, they're also fun to play. The attack type build is the perfect example. For weapon, if you're going meta, you should be running the claws. But if I can't play with this sick samurai sword, then what's the point? Play what makes the game fun for you, and this is what makes me enjoy the game the most. And my range type actually only changed recently. I used to run Sasuke's Rene swap until only a couple of months ago, but the addition of Flying Raijin Slicer has made me become a stealth ninja. It makes me play the game differently, and that is what this is all about. This is before Season 7 happened, oh my god, Borushki has some really cool builds, but this DLC is actually the only thing you need to buy here. I mean, I've got Kaguya's substitution and Shisui's weapon, but you could run something else if you want to, like the pistols that won't drop no matter how many times I pull for- This is the smallest map in the entire game, being stealthy here is not gonna be easy, but we're gonna try. Let's target this guy. Boom. All right, he's blind. Wah! Beautiful! The red flash means increased damage, baby. That's our goal. Increased damage every single time. All right, and we disappear. And we reappear. Hello. Boom. Red flash. Oh, oh, oh. Down goes the attack type. Stealth ninja. Back into the shadows. Get on his ass. Get on his ass. He's outnumbered. Yes, sir. He's not escaping this. Oh. I see an attack type. He's in trouble. Ooh, I might not reach. Yep, that does not reach. But he's attacking the other attack type. He's distracted. He doesn't see me. Whoa. No, he interrupted it. That's so unfair. I hate when that happens. Well, boom. <laughs> oh, I don't even need the flying raging slicer for this one. Oh, I need it for this one. Oh, hoo -hoo! stealth kills, baby. There they are. Got him? Oh, no, he subbed out. He subbed out. That was bad. That was bad. But it doesn't matter because we have the gods of ink. Bonk. Yes. Bonk. Bonk. 
Oh, that's close. That's close. Bird. Yes. <laughs> oh, we are also close to dying. You stay, stay away. Stay away. Stay away, please. Stay away, please. Stay away, please. No, no, no. Stay away, please. I ask, please. Oh, God. Wait, is this the first death on our team? Am I the stain on an otherwise perfect game? No, I must get the winning kill to redeem myself. <gasps> Not even that. Defense builds have actually been quite stale in my opinion. It's not like defense types haven't gotten good DLC, it's just that every new build feels very situational depending on the game mode and the map. So my go-to build has been the same for a very long time and I know I'm just one Susano armor away from making a very meta build, but hey, it's the small things. We find ourselves right here again. Last time it was good luck. Let's see how it goes this time. Hello. Bwah! All right, all right, all right. No, I see, I see what you're doing. You decided to hard focus me. Recognize the name, did you? I mean, why else would you go for the defense type first, right? Come on! And you're dead. <laughs> oh, get over here! Oh, subbed out. Nicely done. Oh, no! Oh, our attack type is going to fall unless our heal type gets there. Please. Bom, 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 bom. Get over here. Oh, no. That combo doesn't really work. I gotta stop because this man will not leave me alone. All right, now we're taking this damage. Yep, we got to take the damage from this up. Get away from me. Okay, okay, okay. Boom, you're dead. Sorry, it's just a fact. A Zan strike and you're dead. That's how it works. All right, how about lasers? Poo! Oh, boy, he's got the beam. He's got the beam. He's got the beam. He sure has the beam. Frenzy, sorry to do this. <gasps> too far? Oh, too far. No, I pulled the trigger. I shouldn't. Damn, I wasted the ult. Get in there. Get in there. Hit him with a stick. Finish him. Get over here. Did I get him? No, I didn't. Oh god, no! Planetary! He got all of us! He actually brought it back! Frankie, what a play! Get your act together! Protect the healer! No! Boom! Bazan strike for you! C the camera, please! The healer ran away! I protected the healer and he ran away! Wait, no, no, no! Come back! Come back, come back! Healer! Come back! Oh, pl oh! This man is joking! This man is joking! Oh, Zan strike! Oh, let's go! <laughs> my heal type build is probably the one that has changed the most during this year. First, I completely changed my healing jutsu to flower cannon. After that, balance patch made it heal allies over time. I mean, I may have been looking for a reason to replace cellular extraction, but this is a pretty good alternative. And the rest of the build is pretty much just Kaguya. And that's even though heal types have a couple of game-winning ultimates, Kaguya's dimension shift is just too clutch. Well, at least one of the battles today had to be a flag battle. I'm not super happy that landed on my healer build, but I should at least be able to protect the flag. I'll definitely leave the carrying to my teammates though. And what I love about this build is that there's an enemy incoming, I will shall heal, and now my teammates is getting healed over time, which means I'm free to fight and I'm still healing my teammates. Look at the damage on these fists though. Oh wait, no. Get away dude. What do you think you're doing? Run away! And healing tag whenever they need to. Uh, okay, now this is gonna hurt. I'll tank it, don't worry. <gasps> no! Get back up there, get back up there, get back up there. All right, we're okay, we're cool. We're subbing out, we gotta do this, and the heal goes off. All right, he really wanted to get that flag without even fighting. We got some kills, which means uh, their flag is easier to capture. Uh, they killed absolutely no one. Try not to die to the pit, guys. Oh, God, what did I just say? No, sir! Oh, he's almost down, he's almost down, he's so close. No, sir! Whoa. No, 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 get him, get him, get him! Frying pan kill! Let's go! <laughs> this is why we run this weapon. It's just for the funny noise. That's it. That's it. Stop. He keeps trying to sit on the flag and block. Doesn't work against heal types, buddy. Oh, he's got pistols? You don't deserve those pistols! I'm chasing. I'm over chasing. I am definitely over chasing. Hi. Stop. <laughs> Can we just cap a flag? Yeah, our attack type is trying. All right, one heal. Two heals. That's fine. We sub. Hello. Bonk. I did not want to capture the flag. I did not want this capture at all. Uh, dude, I don't want to run with a flag. What the hell? Oh boy. Oh boy. Whoa, whoa. Okay, no, that's good. That's good. That's good. No, 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 no. I dropped it. Where is it? Guys, it's so close. No, they got it back. Time to heal up, folks. No. That was a big rush. Hang on. Do I help them carry or do I stop them carrying? Uh, well, I can't. They got it. Can only hope that we uh, take back. No one's protecting, right? We're all just here chilling. Okay, well, yeah, I figured. No, everyone, get in the hole. What the hell? Where's the flag carrier? Okay, that's very cute. Bonk, bonk, bonk. 
All right, everyone dies. Sweet, and a capture! That's what I mean about that ultimate being so clutch. I just denied half of the team. They still got the flag somehow. I thought I captured the flag carrier. Uh, we're dead. We lost this game. There's no coming back from this. Yep, there it is. And we're asleep and they're gonna cap. That's, that's it. I can only watch it happen and do absolutely nothing about it. Well, I don't feel bad about my performance there. I am so ready to see how Season 7 elevates these builds to the next level and it's actually already started with Borushki. Check out this video to see the newest DLC character in action and thank you so much for watching. Boy.